Now I'm going to revisit each one, demonstrate it slowly, and provide an additional note regarding the performance aspect of it. For this one, I would focus on connecting all of the notes to bring out this legato quality, as opposed to something more detached or pointy. Just something much more fluid. As opposed to... In a previous video, I played this phrase. So this exercise is basically the counterpoint to the right hand version. For this one, I would focus on bringing out the lilting quality by sort of sitting on the larger beats, both with the left hand and the right hand. As opposed to playing all of this evenly. For this one, the tempo is very important. It shouldn't be played too fast or too slow because, for example, if you play too fast or too slow, you lose a very important rhythmic quality that I'm going after, which is the bottom notes against the top notes. Especially if you play it too fast, I think the ears focus on the top notes. And it just sounds a little plain. So also that is why I'm playing the right hand notes together with the bottom notes. To bring out that quality as opposed to this. For this one, I think it's quite easy to get very tense. So what I like to do is focus on this circular motion happening when you're turning around on the bottom notes. It's basically this scoop where your wrist and your elbow is following this circular motion going from the bottom around to the top. Of course, this is very exaggerated, but a little bit of this motion.
Like the first exercise, this one was written as a counterpoint to the right hand version. Even though this is how I wrote it, I actually don't like playing it together like this, not only because it's very hard, but it ends up sounding very muddy. It's hard enough to keep it clear with just the left hand. Also, on that note, I think there is a bit of a pedaling issue that is worth noting. These descending notes here. I do this sort of half pedal where I'm still changing every five notes. Here, and here, and here. Otherwise, it sounds like this. Which is something that ends up happening anyway sometimes. But I think the half pedal helps. That is all for this video. I hope you found that useful. Thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon. Over there, I'll be uploading an additional video regarding these exercises. I'll be sharing intermediate versions of each one of them and also just more notes on how to practice them. So again, thank you so much and I will see you very soon. Bye.